I'm back. Welcome back to my channel, The Struggle is Real with the Makeup Nurse. Today is Skincare Sunday, so I am going to talk to you about oily skin. Last time I talked to you about more um, dry and acne, oily and acne skin, um, uh, many times people can clog their pores and they get, they're more prone to acne. I used to have really oily skin um, up until and I had a huge problem with cystic acne rosacea until I was on uh, Accutane. Then my skin went to completely dry because while I'm on that, uh, while I was on the Ac Accutane, it dries you completely out. Where I like would be a freak with lotions and chapstick and everything. I had a chapstick everywhere I went, um, and so and now that I've been off the Accutane a little bit, I have like skin um, but today we're going to talk about specifically with oil oily skin so first off whenever you're gonna do um, like after your makeup you still want to go in with a cleansing balm somehow um, get all your make makeup off and then double cleanse so you can either um, the glycolic acid is pretty good but you only want to do that twice a week I wouldn't mix it with the HA on um, base because I developed a rash if you saw my other um, and it went away it just irritated and I had a lot of red dot or bumps and it went away after a day but I would try to stay away with the AHA and um, the, when you use the glycolic acid so now I go in with this um, cleansing balm if I'm going to use the Avant with glycolic acid in it um, so that's what I learned whenever I got that little rash and then I would double cleanse with um, between the exfoliator like maybe twice a week and then this is a good one this pore purifying cleanser and it's got salicylic acid tea tree oil and white bark so this is good to use as the second cleanser as well and then um, you can either go in with a mask this is a semen control black color and by the way this was by Dr. Brand sorry this is by Tony Moly, and this is a sebum control black color clay, and this um, can be done twice a week, I believe. Um, well, it doesn't say how often you can use use this, but because it's um, a sebum control mask, this would be good to use as well. And then um, today, I want to try. Um, I've already toned my skin. I use other. After you wash your face, you should use um, something with salicylic acid as a toner. And this is um, from Walmart. You can get it anywhere. And it's got salicylic acid acne medication in this. I also then go in with this. So these are, or you can use like in the morning. After I um, had makeup and double cleansed, I usually go. I usually go in with this toner because it feels like it cleanses it a little bit more on my pores and everything um, from the um, from the makeup. In the morning, I will use these because hopefully my makeup is already cl cleansed and prior to makeup, I'll use these salicylic acid pads. And I got this off the Noor uh, website. It's N-E-O-R-A website. And these are really good at, it's got the salicylic acid and it, and it cleans. And I use this in the morning. Then I use this at night. Um, after makeup so after I've toned my skin and I've already toned my skin then you should go you should still go in with a serum so I believe this would be the best um, kind for the serum for a serum this is a serum and oil drop and it's for all skin types and it's um, white truffle but on the back it says moisture retaining ability it of oil and hydration of an ampliopactin one. So after using toner in the morning and at night, you can apply this to the face. And it says it's for all uh, skin types. So let's put this on. I actually have not used this one yet, so. And usually an oil should be after your moisturizer, but this says a serum and oil drop, so. It's 
sounds like we can put this on before the mask. And so today, instead of using that um, Tony Moly one, I want to try this mask out. And um, this will be on for, um, oh, for at least 30 minutes to allow the serum to deeply penetrate and detoxify the skin. Um, and this says use weekly to replace salon facial treatment. And it's active charcoal deeply purifies and detoxifies pores, removes oils, reduces blemishes, and clears clogged pores, hyaluronic acid to tone the skin, and mask made of non-woven bamboo fiber. So we will put this on, put it on for 30 minutes. These masks are kind of hard for me because they don't necessarily always fit right for me. While this is waiting, I'll talk a little bit. So another thing you can that I have these um, botanical cho choice nose pore strips and they instantly clean clogged pores remove blackheads and help to tighten the pores and how to use this is um, thoroughly wash your face making sure um, free of any creams lotions or makeup so after you um, fully cleanse a uh, double cleanse um, the uh, your face then you dry hands then open pack and peel the strip off the plastic and then put it on your nose. Um, oh, it says thoroughly wet your nose with water. If nose is not wet enough, the strip may not stick and may not be effective. So the nose has to be um, wet. Um, so after you cleanse it, and I'm assuming tone your face first to make sure it is all clean, and then um, apply the strip to the moistened nose area with shiny side facing your skin. Uh, press down and smooth out. And air bubbles and then let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes and then you can um, take it off so you can use this but today obviously I'm already using a mask so I'm not going to use this for my pores the other thing as far as um, double cleansing I after I was on or while I was on Accutane they also say for oily skin um, I had this sodium sulfur Phosphatamide and sulfur. This is a prescription, and um, I used this all the time. Um, but there, uh, if you do have oily skin, if you can find a product with sulfur in it, that will be good as well. Um, or you could see if a dermatologist would prescribe you this. Um, so this is actually pretty um, good. It worked really well for me. I don't use it as much anymore, and that's I, um, I still have some left from when I was on the Accutane. It's probably actually expired, but I'm, I still use it on occasion because of the what I everything I've been through. That that's a very harsh medication. So if you can do anything not to get on it, that would be great. Okay. So then after this is all done, um, after you wait the thirty minutes, and you've like I said, you cleansed your skin. Um, toned it, put this on if you want, or that other clay one. But then you would, having this Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer, this would be very good for um, oily skin. So I use this on occasion. You can use it in the morning and, um, and at night. And so this would be good if you want it, um, if you have extremely oily skin and you want the Oil Control Moisturizer, th this would be good. And this is by... Um, Fab First and Beauty, Aid Beauty. And, um, and then they say to use a oil, a retinal oil, and I have the uh, Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Um, you can use it at night. I wouldn't use this during the day um, because, of the, because of the retinal and the sun. Um, but if you start dry, having dry spots or peeling spots like I did a little bit, 
I use this every other day and um, you can try if on um, and then what I go in between the days, I use this vitamin C turmeric face oil. So you can um, use this and um, with vitamin C, which will help with brightening. And in the daytime, I don't usually go in. Um, I usually go in with this, like in the morning, and then at night if it's um, if it's the alternate day for for. Um, this oil, I'll use the vitamin C, and actually I'll swap it with um, either a serum cocktail, or no, this is the serum, I'm sorry, this oil here, the Bep, oh, that's a serum too. Um, so I've been using this in the day as an oil, it's a serum, I just realized that. Pay attention to your um, ingredients. So. Yeah, so use this in the daytime, um, this vitamin C oil, this is good. And then you can um, use, alternate this at night with this. You still wanna go in with an eye cream after you do your, um, um, with your moisturizer. So I have this Optum Eyes. It's by the Lorga, Laboratories for Lorgas. And I use this as my eye cream, and then I just talked to you about the moisturizer, and then the um, whatever oil. But when you're going, you want to put some sunscreen. And this is um, by Olay Complete. It's all day moisturizer with sunscreen with SPF 30, and it's sensitive, and it's vitamin E and aloe, and it's oil free. So my dermatologist recommended this to me whenever I um, got this prescription um, from him. So this is really should be really good for uh, sunscreen with oil free or oily skin and then i would alternate um between whenever you do a mask and do an eye an eye patch as well that's pr that's still good as well for oily skin you can you and i have been going alternating between the mask and these gen skin um eye patches and you can also use it when you're using a mask it's um, by Tony Moly or this Vasanti Brighten Up Miracle Mask. This has charcoal in it, so this will help um, with the um, pores as well. And it's got turmeric, papaya clay, and butters, shea, and cocoa. And this works well. It um, detoxifies the skin and sucks out impurities from pores. Turmeric provides the anti-inflammatory properties and helps even out and brightens complexion. And it helps create appearance of scars, it claims. Um, papaya leaves the skin brighter by removing the dead skin and combating the dullness. Uh, Calolin mineral clay helps rebalance and detoxify the skin from impurities and butters help soften, smooth, and then hydrates the skin. And um, it doesn't say that you, how often you can use this. So you could, you know, try either one of these products as well for the oily skin. I hope that helps um, for anybody with oily skin for the, for their, um, their, I would see, I just mask would actually stick on my face um but anyway so if i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and some click that little bell next to it um for so you're notified of future uploads and if you would like to know a, a, um, a different type of regimen for skincare sundays please let me know and comment down below i hope you have a great weekend and i'll talk to you later bye